Thanks, buddy. Peace out. My daughter Emma helps me with my video work sometimes. Hey, it's Corfu. <laughs> I got a haircut. Okay, that's out of the way. This week, I did something a little out of my comfort zone. I normally draw with lines, I do sketches, I ink them in, even when I do digital painting, I tend to stick with lines. I was watching a tutorial online about painting digitally and using the classic approach of painting with shapes and tonal values versus lines. I prefer lines, it's comfortable for me, I feel like I have a little bit more control over them, but I wanted to do something a little bit more dynamic. I did get out of my comfort zone, I did try something a little different. I'm going to try to make this part of my process now when I go to do digital illustrations. So with that said, let's jump in and I'll show you two different uh, versions that I did. One was, they're both speed paintings and it was just two different female portraits. The idea was not to be super detailed, but to get something that looked halfway decent just using shapes. You'll see me struggle, still trying to almost to fall back the lines and using a smaller brush. Uh, I think I might force myself to use a giant fat brush next time. Kind of the same idea when you're using the blob brush in Illustrator. It has a little bit less control, but it, it's a little bit more freeing. If you don't want to sit and watch all, all of them, I'm going to actually have chapters in the description below, so you can just go to those and just click on the number. It'll take you to that point in the video. So let's jump in and see how I did on these suckers. Ugh.
thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, leave comments, likes, dislikes if you must. Um, next week we're going to do something really cool. Uh, it's a little different. I'm going to have fun with it. Uh, I have a little extra time because I'll be on Christmas break. So I'll see you then. Thanks again for watching.